Hello dear students, welcome back to Royson Creations YouTube channel. In this video, let us analyze today maths exam question paper with the answer. Those who are watching first time, please subscribe and share with your friends. So here, this is the question paper. The first main is, four alternatives are given for each of the following questions or incomplete statements. Choose the correct alternatives and write the complete answer along with its letter of alphabets. So here, eight questions are there. Each question carry. Eight, uh, one marks. First question, the number of zeros of the polynomial y is equals to p of x in the given graph is. So here they have given the graph. So here you can count this 1, 2, 3. Therefore the option A, 3 is the right answer. Second question for an event E if p of E is equals to 0 0.75 then p of E bar is. So p 1 minus 0 0.75 means it will become 0 0.25 therefore option b is the right answer. Third question the total surface area of a right circular cylinder having radius r and height h is option d 2 pi r into r plus h is the right answer. Fourth question the number that represents the remainder when 19 is equals to 6 into 3 plus 1 is compared with Euclid divisions lemma. A is equals to BQ plus R. So here R is representing the reminder. Therefore, 1 is the answer. Option C is correct. Fifth question. In the given figure, PB is a tangent drawn at the point A to the circle with center O. If A, A O angle of AOP is equal to 45 degree, then the measure of OPA is, it will become 45 degree. How means? Here, always we know that when the tangent is formed, here always 90 degree will be there. So, 90 plus 45. So, 180 minus 90 plus 45 will become 45 degree only. Therefore, the option E is the right answer. Sixth question, in the given figure, if DE parallel to BC, then the correct relation among the following is, so here this is the figure. So, these two lines are parallel and therefore, in the given option, option C, AD by BD is equals to is AE by EC is the right answer. Seventh question, the line represents by the equations 4x plus 5y minus 10 is equals to 0 and 8x plus 10y plus 20 is equal to 0 are. So here four options are there. So here we can check it. 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2. So therefore minus 1 by 2 is not equal. Therefore, here a by a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. Therefore, these two these lines we called as a parallel line. Therefore, the option D is the right answer. Eighth question: the distance of the point minus 8, comma 3 from the x-axis is that is 3 units. Option B is the right answer. So, next second main answer the following questions: eight questions. Ninth question: express the denominator of 7 by 80 in the form of 2n into 5 to the power of m. That means 80 we can write it as 2 to the power of 4. That means 2 into 2 into 2 into. That means 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. So 16 into 5, 80. Therefore, 7 divided by 2 to the power of 4 into 5 to the power of 1 is the right answer. Tenth question. If the pair of lines represents by the linear equation x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0 and ax plus by minus 12 is equal to 0 are coincident lines. Then the find the value of a and b. Coincident lines mean that means a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Therefore, one. Therefore, a will become 3, b will become 6. So you can consider 1 by a is equals to 1 by 2. Therefore, a 1 by 3. Therefore, a is equal to 3. Therefore, b is equal to 6. 11 question. Triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. Area of triangle ABC is 64 cm square and the area of triangle PQR is 100 cm square. If AB is equal to 8 cm, then find the length of PQ. Therefore, area of triangle ABC by triangle PQR is equal to AB square by PQ square. Therefore, 64 by 100 is equal to 8 square by PQ square. Therefore, PQ square is equal to 100 into 64 by 64. 64, 64 get cancelled. Therefore, PQ square is equal to 100. PQ is equal to 10 centimeter. 12th question express the equations x into 2 plus x is equal to 3 in the standard form of the quadratic equation that means 2x plus x square is equal to 3 therefore x square plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 this is the standard form. 13th question find the discriminant of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 therefore we know Discriminant delta is equal to b square minus 4ac. Therefore, 16 minus 4 into 2 into 3. Therefore, 16 minus 24. So, delta is equal to minus 8. 
14th question find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment joining the point 6 comma 3 and 4 comma 7 that is p of x comma y is equals to x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 by y1 plus y2 by 2 therefore 10 by 2 comma 10 by 2 therefore we will get 5 comma 5 15th question write the degree of the polynomial here the highest degree is that is 4 therefore the answer 4 is right answer 16th question write the formula to find the volume of the frustum of a cone given in the figure so frustum of a cone the volume of a frustum of a cone is 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 into r1 so these questions carry one marks question so the next one is Next, 17th, uh, third main, 17th question, show that 5 plus root 3 is a irrational number. So, if possible, let us assume 5 plus root 3 is a rational number. So, 5 plus root 3 is equal to p by q, whereas p by q belongs to z, so q does not equal to 0. Therefore, root 3 is equal to p by q minus 5. So, root 3 is equal to p minus 5q divided by q because I took LCM. Therefore, p minus 5 by q by q is a rational number. So, root 3 is a rational number, but root 3 is not a rational number. Therefore, our supposition root 3 is not a rational number. So, our uh, supposition is uh, wrong. Therefore, root 5 plus root 3 is an irrational number. Then, 18th question. So for this question, option is there. Find the HCF and LCF, uh, HCF of 72 and 120 by using Euclid division algorithm. So, here 120 is greater than 72. Therefore, 72 divided by 120, 72 ones are 72, the remainder is a 48. From 48 again, if you are dividing 72, we will get 48 ones are 48, so the remaining is 24. So 24 twos are 48. Therefore, here I have given the things. Therefore, the HCF of the 120 and 72 is a 24. Next question number 18. Solve the given pair of linear equation. 3x plus y is equals to 12 that is I considered as a equation 1 and x plus y is equal to 6 that is I considered as a equation 2. Therefore from 1 and 2 I am going to subtract therefore plus y minus y get cancelled the remaining is 2x is equal to 6 therefore x is equals to 6 by 2 2 ones are 2 3 is a x value 3. So now substitute x is equal to 3 in equation 1 or 2. Therefore, here I have substituted in equation 2. Therefore, x plus y is equal to 6. So 3 plus y is equal to 6. So y is equal to 6 minus 3. So y is equal to 3. 19th question. Find the 20th term of arithmetic progression 4, 7, 10 by using formula. So here we have a progression that is 4, 7, 10. We have to find the 10th, uh, 20th term. Therefore, a is equal to 4, d is equal to 3, n is equal to 20. Now, substitute in the formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So, 4 plus 20 minus 1 into 3, 4 into 19 plus 3. Therefore, 4 plus 57 will get 61. 21st question. Find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by using the quadratic formula. So, here is the question 20, 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 5 and c is equal to 3. Therefore, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Substitute all the value in the formula. So, minus into minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 whole square minus 4 into 2 into 3 divided by 2 into 2. So, we will get 5 plus or minus 25 minus 24 by 4. So, 5 plus or minus square root of 1 by 4. So, square root of 1 we will get always 1 only. Therefore, 5 plus or minus 1 divided by 4. Therefore, 1 is having two value plus and minus. So, 5 minus 1 divided by 4. So, 4 by 4 x is equal to 1. Same time, uh, x is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by 4. So, 6 by 4, 2, 3 is a 2, 2 is a therefore x value 2 by 3 by 2. For this question also we have one more option that is find the root of the equation 5x square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0 by the method of completing the square. So, this method also is easy. So, I have solved only 1. Next, question number 21. In the given figure, if uh, triangle, a, if angle ABC is equal, question number 21, in the given figure, if ABC is equal to 90 degree, then find the value of sin theta and cos alpha. So, sin theta is equals to AB by AC is equal to 1 by 2. Cos alpha is equal to AB by AC, that is equals to 1 by 2. Question number 22, a box containing cards which are numbered from 9 to 9, uh, 9 to 19, if one card is drawn at random from the box, find the probability that it bears a prime number. So here in the given question, 9 to 19, we have four prime numbers that is 11, 13, 17 and 19. 
So n of a is equals to 4. n of s is 11. Therefore, n of e is equals to n of a by n of s is equals to 4 by 11. So, answer is 4 by 11. So, the next one is the next, uh, the remaining problem I will solve in next video. Thank you for watching this video.